Okay, so I'd like to give you an overview of the whole system. Uh, when it rains, the rainwater comes down through this spout and uh, it fills up this rain barrel to a certain point uh, about uh, just above this uh, hose line right here. And then the uh, water flow from the hose line comes out and starts to fill up this second rain barrel till they're about equal in volume. Um, and then it stops because the pressure on both sides is about the same. And then as the rain keeps falling, uh, this one builds up and throws a little more water in here. And then it reaches the overflow over this second one near the top of the rain barrel after it's been raining, say, for you know a day and a half on and off. And it'll flow into this hose the overflow of this rain barrel will go into here. Uh, and this will fill up roughly until it stops raining or until this one uh, fills up completely. And there's a hole on the other side for an overflow on this one. So both the rain barrels are filling up. Right now, the rain barrels are draining. Uh, supposedly, it's supposed to drain at roughly the same rate because they're about level and uh, it drains out through this little uh, faucet right here which I've attached a Y connector. Uh, one of the ends of the connector is for just filling up cans of water such as this over here and the other one is attached to a uh, direct current uh, water pump, a DC water pump located right here. The DC water pump takes the uh, rainwater. here's the in part of it I have a little filter attached to it. This particular one is a flow jet. It runs at 13 amps. Uh, and the uh, electricity, the current is provided by a direct uh, current battery, a deep cycle battery, which is uh, powered and um, recharged by solar panels up there on the roof up there. Uh, the water then comes out. Uh, the rainwater comes out of that hose, out of the pump, and pumps it out into this hose here and uh, it pumps out rainwater which is uh, this little doohickey right here it's an on-demand pump which just simply means that uh, as soon as I turn the uh, hose nozzle off it'll shut the uh, electric motor pump off and then I turn it back on and it'll trigger the pressure difference inside the pump and start pumping out water again this is just a kind of a view of the uh, roof garden we have here at Our Lady Queen of Martyrs School, which has been so kind to let me work here this summer as a volunteer and to also raise some really hot peppers, which I then uh, go ahead and uh, make great sauces out of and uh, so forth. I can use this rainwater to uh, water the uh, plants in the greenhouse if I want, but I don't really need to because I've set up a spray irrigation system in there. Or I could use it to uh, water down uh, the compost. The nice thing about rainwater is that it's uh, not chlorinated, so there's a lot of ac active uh, microbial activity and a lot of beneficial minerals in the rainwater uh, and organisms in the rainwater that are really beneficial for the plants. Okay, there you go. And as you can see, I shut the hose off and my on-demand pump, of course, shut off. I would recommend this is a really good pump. It's a flow jet. And uh, just check out their website. I'm sure there's other pumps that are just uh, just as good, but this one works uh, works really well for me. Okay, take care. And uh, have a nice day. Bye.